Hey, fatty. An old school bodybuilding diet. Chicken, rice, broccoli, chicken, rice, green beans, whatever variation. Lean meat, starch, vegetables is always going to be a viable option for weight loss and body recomposition and building muscle. The good old BBD, bodybuilding diet, fatty. You don't always have to be looking up weight loss diets to find a wicked weight loss diet. Old school bodybuilding diet. You're not going to develop insulin resistance. It's clean. It's healthy. A low fat, moderate protein, high carb, vegetables, bodybuilding diet will get you lean. Okay, that's going to take you from morbid obese to a good body weight. Okay, calories will always matter, but naturally, obviously, if it's a clean diet like that, you're going to lose a pile of weight. It's just clean. There's a lot of volume. Okay, you're not going to have insulin resistance because it's low fat. Okay, it's low fat. Okay, we're talking macro split that's like old-fashioned Mike Menser macros. Okay, 15% fat, 25% protein, 60% carbs from starch mainly. Starch and fruit and starchy vegetables and vegetables. It's healthy eating. It's a clean damn diet. Okay, whatever happened to that? Whatever happened to a bodybuilding diet? Just do a bodybuilding diet. Okay, a fat woman. You can do a bodybuilding diet. Okay, it's going to work better for weight loss than most of the shit you're trying to do. It's a normal clean diet. You can do it on an old mad routine, one meal a day. Okay, which I'm doing that right now. Okay, two meal a day, three meal a day, throw in a snake juice fast once in a while, do a 60 hour snake juice fast, get back on your bodybuilding diet. The good old BBD. Okay, and then you can go pump iron, you're not gonna be worried about losing muscle. You're gonna have full muscle glycogen. Okay, you're gonna have energy. You're not gonna have high cortisol from going crazy low carb all the time. You're not gonna be in heart attack city. From high protein, high fat, which is retarded. Heart attack city like the carnivore diet cult leaders preach. Okay, I've been talking about that. If you're doing a high fat diet, you want your blood sugars rock bottom, low protein. If you're doing a crazy high fat diet, you want your blood sugars rock bottom. Okay, we're talking sugar levels in the threes. Like 3.7, 3.5 millimoles per liter. But you don't even need to do any of that crazy shit. Okay, that's short-term therapy use only. The average Joe would get an excellent result on a good old-fashioned bodybuilding diet. Okay, lean meat, starch, vegetables. Simple as that. You can lose weight and build muscle at the same time. Okay, you're going to feel like a million bucks. Okay, you find starches at work. I don't want to hear about, oh, that starch bloated me up or something. Find a different starch then. Find a different vegetable then. There's only a million choices, dumbass. Shut the hell up with your stupid excuses. Stop looking for something radical. Okay, it doesn't have to be more radical than a one meal a day diet, snake juice in the morning. Okay, you don't have to be adding a pile of salt to that diet because it's so high carb. Okay, if you want to dial the macros in, it's low fat. You don't need to add any fat to that diet. Lean meat, starch, vegetables, some fruit. Okay, if you're a fat ass, you don't need to be eating any extra fat, you fat pig. None. None. Okay, none. Okay, if you're getting ripped, then you maybe add a little bit of fat to it. You fat pigs would get to an excellent weight if you just stuck to a clean, healthy, old school bodybuilding diet. And if you want to lose the weight quicker, you throw in some snake juice fasting. Until next time. If your extreme dieting bullshit is not working, just jump on an old school, healthy, bodybuilding diet, you fat ass pig.